we're trying to show that this transformation here is not linear. But before we do that, let's realize that if we were to change these little variables here to maybe an A or a B, then so would all these. So this would become A, A, and that would become a B and a B. Now, usually if we want to try to prove something is linear or not, we have to use either the additivity or the homogeneity properties. So let's work with the additivity one because that's a little more interesting. So we'll start by saying that T, and uh, we'll go with U plus V, is supposed to be equal to T of U plus T of the V. And we're going to have to do two different transformations here. This is the first side, the left side, and this is the right side. So we're going to do the transformation twice, and then we're going to see what happens at the end if they're equal. Sometimes we have to reduce this. So the nice thing is it's actually completely reduced right now, so we can go straight into our proof. But let's just go ahead and say, okay, this is a two-dimensional vector, so let's just take our two-dimensional vectors here. We'll go u1, u2. And then we'll have that be the first vector that we can sort of add in with the second vector here, v1, v2. Okay, and then um, let's obviously simplify that. So it's going to be t and then u1 plus v1. And then here we go, u2 plus v2. So uh, kind of a two steps there. But now that we have this set up, let's go ahead and, oh, look. If this was an A and that was a B, then we would just switch these, right? Well, now it's U1 plus V1 and U2 plus V2, so let's switch all these to those. So that's going to turn into something more like uh, 2, and then we take this X1 thing, which is U1 plus V1. And then we go minus 3, and then the X2 would represent this thing, so uh, U2 plus V2. And then uh, we got X1 being here, so we'll put in U1 plus V1, and then we have plus 4. Then we can go 5 times the uh, x2, which is this, u2 plus v2. Let's try to simplify this a little bit. So it'll just become 2u1 plus 2v1 minus 3u2 minus 3v2 on top. Over here we have a u1 plus v1 plus 4. And then over here we have a 5u2 plus 5v2. So this becomes essentially the transformation that happens when we do this first half. Now let's try to squeeze the second half in here. So we're going to go T, and then we're going to take the first transformation first. So we're going to go with a U1 and a U2. And we're going to go and add that to a T with a V1 and a V2. Notice how we have our favorite setup here. It's just kind of like an A and a B, and then we're just going to switch these to, uh, you know, U1 and U2 instead. So let's go and do that over here. It's just going to become... 2 and then u1 minus 3 and then u2 and here becomes u1 plus 4 and then 5u2 we're going to add that to the same thing but with v's now so 2v1 uh, minus 3v2 v1 plus 4 and 5v2 let's see if that equals the previous one um, so this would be something like 2u1 minus 3u2 plus 2v1 minus 3v2. And then we have a u1 plus v1 plus 8. And then we have 5u2 plus 5v2. So we can see how if we do that, we actually have some uh, differences between these two. And so therefore... This is not going to be a linear transformation.